one sofa with Jose Palma, who plays the character of um, Gianni Baker in the film A Friend in Need. I reckon you don't appreciate what you got until you think you're about to lose it. So, um, Jose, it was his idea to put of course, our of course. new friend. You have to. I think we have, we have to find a name on it. We just call it Rob. Rob? Rob. We call, we call it Rob. Is it, is it based on, on your cast member, uh, Robert? Is he, is he in, has he got an inner tiger within himself? I will let the audience decide. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but I think we're going to keep the name. Rob. Here we go again. Anyway, so talk Anyways. a bit more about the film and how did right. you get involved with it? So uh, pretty much uh, I got the uh, casting call from a friend as well. I was told that there was this amazing film coming out. And, and uh, funny enough, when I first uh, got the script, I was very drawn to, to Patrick, funny enough. And I think every character, uh, or not, not every cast member, I should say, I kind of was drawn to a different character at the beginning, yeah. um, and we ended up playing totally different parts, which is, uh, I think, very. It was the beginning of all of us really connecting because I think we all had the very, very you know, very similar experience. Um, so I went in auditioning for Patrick, and uh, very similar to uh, Charlie, uh, they got got back to me really fast, and they were like, "Hey, actually, can you uh, do Gianni?" And I was like, "Well, I can." Oh. And I get it, yeah. I, I, cool. And is that also because you're saying that I'm, I'm drawn to the crazy character, is that also normally the characters you're cast in easily? Yeah, for the most part. I, th I think there is a thing about, you know, now in film, you know, I'm, I'm Costa Rican. Um, so having that Hispanic side kind of just puts you in different um, aspects in the film industry and, and mm -hmm. you know, different types of characters. And, and uh, I enjoyed uh, this film simply because it kind of, took me out of, of that uh, stigma that sometimes, uh, you know, some actors fall into. Yeah. Uh, and just play, you know, regular, regular dude, you know, and, and the... Uh, a regular dude. Regular well, not, dude. Not that regular. I mean, Gianni's pretty cool. It's family life, mate. That's what's doing me in. And how did you prepare for the role of Gianni? So, um, I started reading a book, City Boys. Uh, uh, if the writer's uh, Drained Anderson, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but I sort of read that book and, uh, you know, a few films, and I did a little bit of research. Uh, myself, I worked in a financial sector for a few years. Not in, you know, uh, the same job as Gianni, but, but in a financial sector. So I kind of had an idea of, of, you know, how these people would, would essentially act in certain situations. And, and so it was a little bit of everything. I did quite a, a bit of research in, in all aspects with that book and films. Hey, I found this guy on the doorstep. Is it yours, Patrick? I wanted to ask you something about the, a specific scene in the film. Right. So you Which one? have to, um, you have to, how do you call that? You know, when I do that. Shoots, uh, you know, punch. Ball. Pool. Yes. Yes. How yes. many takes did that take? <laughs> You know, that is very interesting. <laughs> they're, they're laughing in the back. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. It's because we really wanted to get that shot. Yeah. And uh, so we really went on uh, to get the right shot. But I'm so bad at aiming. And we oh. did it like maybe like, yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 takes, something like that. Or maybe even more. But yeah, it took so long until we finally just got that once and finally made it to the film. And I was, I was just super happy. To be honest, I was just happy to made it to the film, yeah. <laughs> well, it was a beautiful shot. I know. The end. I know. Last question. Yes. So, are there any future things we can see you in, acting-wise? Uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few things to, to watch out for. Uh, um, I got an opportunity to play um, Anton in a series called Sentia. is in Amazon, so that was cool. loads of fun. Uh, a nice little feature next year that everybody would hopefully uh, hear about. And uh, yeah, if, if your project is, it's been, it's been really, really busy.